Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are entering our fifth year of homeschooling. And today I want to talk with you about math you see level delta. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. You guys know I love math you see. I really do. I'm gonna have links for everything down below. It is included in our non-religious Timberdoodle curriculum kits. And since we started in second grade, I love this product. I know a lot of people have some issues with the Demi Learning Company. I have never seen anything in the, what have we used? Beta, Gamma, and now Delta. I've never seen, oh, no, and I've done primer and alpha now, so five levels. I have never seen anything that has ever given me any concerns about um, kind of an unjustified reference to religion or anything like that. So you make your decisions for you. We love this product. Um, I greatly have enjoyed it. Um, it's just a fun way to learn. I like that the books reference their own blocks, like you have the specific set of blocks. You're not just using whatever willy-nilly. I love, love that there is video instruction because I personally, I'm not gonna say I'm not good at math, but I'm not confident in my ability at math, if that makes sense. I may be good or not good, that's, that's irrelevant. I'm not confident in my abilities in math. And as my kids get older, that gets a little bit scarier. But I love that there is a video of someone else explaining the lesson. I can then tap in if needed. So the way that we have been using math, you see, is that we'll do our video lesson on Monday during Mom and Me Mondays. And then what we do, because there are so many worksheets, and I'll show you in a minute when I flip over and do the flip through, she'll do like 4A, and then if she's good with that, then she'll skip and do like 4C. So she does every other, depending on where her skills are at. We do not do a test for every level. What we do do is we will do the unit test. So I think hers is level one, lesson one through six, and then there's a unit test. So we'll do the unit test for her, but we don't do, I don't do the test every level because you know, when you homeschool, like I know how she's doing or how she's not doing. We did go ahead because we super slacked over the summer and take a week in the beginning and just go back over our multiplication facts because the big thing with the math UC program is that it is not spiral. So it doesn't teach a little bit, teach a little bit, come back, teach a little more, come back, teach a little more. That's not how this goes. It's mastery based. So it doesn't align. We're in that kind of weird and scary spot where she doesn't align with her peers that are public schooled and private schooled at the same age. So she did all multiplication last year, but she didn't have any division, right? So it gives you a little bit of that, like, oh my gosh, are we okay? Are we okay? Because everyone else is doing it this time. Guess what? It's okay. Because they're a mastery approach. So she can multiply like no one's business. And now we've moved in and we're gonna conquer division. And so far, the start, I don't know what it is about this product. It resonates so well with my children. It just, it seems like things would be scary, right? Like she was really nervous to do division because she thought it was gonna be this terrible thing, but the way that Mr. Demi explains it on the videos and the way that the books really break it down, it just becomes something that is so attainable, so easily attainable that it just clicks with both my kids. And this is the way it's been with, again, we're up to five levels of math you see now. It just clicks and it just works for them in a manner that I honestly, didn't know it was possible. You guys know we used something else uh, prior to her second grade year. And it just, she's always been good at math and great, but this really just clicks. And it gives me so much confidence in being able to, because I'm not a teacher, and again, I'm not confident in math, but it gives me a confidence to be able to homeschool math, if that makes any kind of sense. I know some of you guys know what I'm saying. So let's look over, I'm gonna show you the thing and a little bit of video editing magic here. Let's flop over to the table and we will look at this. Now let's start with the blocks. Now I, one of the great things is that you can customize, you don't have to order the blocks every time. Like I could say, oh hey, I just need this piece. And I've done that in the past with customizing the kit. I just needed the student workbook. So 
I actually found this nifty little box on Amazon and I'll link it below because they actually all fit in there. So and that is handy because our box like wore out really quickly. Like it's intended to keep it and it's got the little tray pieces, but it, it, it went downhill fast. So this one buttons up and is really nice. And then both girls, we keep it in a place where both girls can use it. This is the, now the pack that we ordered came with the DVD. It also came with the digital code because there's a ton of stuff on the website. You can generate worksheets. You can uh, use all kinds of things on the website. It's really handy, definitely worth checking out. So it comes with the DVD and then you can select which lesson you need. The instruction manual is the only part that is hard bound, which is great because you can keep it and use it again for other kids later, which is fully my intent. Now it just has, it does have the, uh, the answers in the back, but it tells you about their approach. It's got the division fact sheet, which is a really nice thing to have that they include because you can mark off what they really have mastered. And there's one in the student book that you can use as well. So the lessons are very simple. And it just goes through, it's exactly the same thing as on the DVD. So if you need something a little more, a little different than that, you might need to be Googling or coming up with some other things, but it just explains it here to them. And then it gives you an update on their chart where they should be. And it does go through a few other things like in the back, usually like once they've done all of the division, it'll go through a few other things, Roman numerals, telling time, volume, money, um, some of those things that are really kind of not necessarily a full curriculum, but it will cover them. Rounding and estimating. So this is the teacher guide, which again follows the DVD instruction. The student workbook. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It's just what you need. So there's no lesson in it. And the answers are in the back over here. So what we do is, let me see. Maybe I can find one she already did. There we go. We'll just use lesson one. That's a great idea. Okay. so. Lesson one, she watches the DVD one day and then she does front and back of one page. And then she skips. So she would do this on like Tuesday. She skips the B. She does a front and back on Wednesday. She skips the D and then she'll do front and back of E. Sometimes she does a few more, especially the G's tend to be just a really fun thing. So she'll do those if she wants to. Um, on our last day. So, and then if she needs more practice, we can go back and do these other ones. Now, what I want you to notice is that, yes, there's like seven, but this one specifically is this lesson practice. So it's only gonna be over this lesson, okay? Then once you get further down the week to D, it's systemic review. So it's everything they've had up to that point is D, I believe it's D, E, and F. E and F are um, the systemic review. So if you're doing like I am, where you're not doing all the sheets, be sure that you get to the D, E, and F or they will not be having that review. It's so crucial. And then 1G is just application and enrichment, different things they can do with it. So a little bit fun. Now, here are the, the test book. It's an entirely separate book and it does have a like one page test for every single lesson. But again, I just don't feel the need to do it for myself. You might. What I do like to do is once you get back here, changes to a different Roman numeral, it's the unit test. So this is like over all of the things to this point. So then that's actually a few pages long, two or three pages long, front and back. And then those are the unit tests. And then there will be a final test, which is just the last unit test really. Oh no, the final test is over the entire thing. So there you go. Unit tests 22 through 30 is this one. And then the final test is everything that they've learned in this curriculum. So I do recommend doing those just to make sure you're kind of on track. Plus I enjoy giving my kids a little bit of that pressure of a test. So that is everything that's included in your curriculum package from Matthew C. Level Delta. I will be sharing our kindergartners, which is the first grade level alpha, I think. I'll be sharing that in a totally different video. But for this, if you would like to know, it comes in the fourth grade, uh, both religious and non-religious curriculum kits from Timberdoodle. Again, I have links down below. 
Guys, if you have any questions at all, head on over to Instagram at Making Everyday Magic and shoot me a DM or scroll right on down to these comments. I'm gonna do my best to answer all of the questions because this is one of those pieces that people have so many questions about. So many questions. I get so much interest about math you see. Guys, I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll on down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you truly enjoyed this look at Math You See and the explanation of how we use it. Because I think it can be really intimidating when you get all the stuff and all the pieces and all the worksheets to be like, oh my gosh, but you guys remember, I always say curriculum is your tool. We have found a way that it just works for us. And I am happy with that. So don't forget that you can tweak and push and bend. You don't need to do all the worksheets, especially if you can tell that they've mastered it. Okay, just walk away, walk away. Wait for it. Wait for it. legit the longest dryer buzzer ever. I think the only other option is like silent. There's no like, maybe just play me half the song. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know.